really similar to the way we add a transition, we can remove a transition. This is actually called the remove effect and it removes any effect that it's parked over on the timeline that the tracks are active. Again, tracks matter. When I go ahead here and I press the remove effect, it's just gonna remove whatever effect is on V1 at the playhead. Now, I personally prefer this to be on the keyboard. So one of the things we ought to do is we ought to go to our settings, bring up our keyboard settings, and we ought to go to our tools menu and bring up our command palette where we can map commands. You'll notice some commands are already mapped on this keyboard a little bit irregularly, and that's from other sessions in this title. The slash key is the quick transition. I'm gonna to go to the effects tab of the command palette and drag the remove effect to, I'm holding down the shift key, the same exact key. I've already got this mapped here. It's already set to remove effect. I think that it's really important that you, when you map keys, make it very logical and straightforward. So the single key that can create an effect is the slash key, and the single key that can remove an effect is the shift slash key. This is a great way for you to work and quickly be able to add and remove effects. So I'm just gonna remove this effect right here with that shift slash key. Just like the quick transition window would allow us to add multiple transitions, the transition manipulation tool allows us to select our first transition. And then if you hold down the shift key and you lasso, you can lasso whatever transitions you want to remove in mass and then press the delete key and it removes those transitions for you.